we're back again bringing you guys some more content for pokemon scarlet and pokemon violet rank battles obviously hopping onto that double ladder like usual nothing's really changing today but the team's changing obviously we like to showcase a different team every single day here and today we are rocking out with a forrigaraf trick room team that also features palafin and shen pal you guys already know the deal if you do enjoy the content anytime make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video and if you're not subscribed to the channel seriously yo just get on out of here i'm playing stay a little bit longer but definitely consider subscribing also before we get started with today's team preview i want to give a huge shout out to the team creator olivia sama thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code for everybody to use we'll be linking their channel down in the description below so definitely go check them out and show them some jeans love but uh we got Frigoraph for our first Pokemon. Like I said, it is a Frigoraph Trick Room team, and Frigoraph is arguably the best Trick Room center in the game. It's got Armor Tail to stop any first turn priority moves such as Fake Out, and it's got the Mental Herb as its item. It's Rockin' Trick Room, Hyper Voice, Protect, and Psy Shock. Second Pokemon is going to be Iron Hands, and Iron Hands is great on both sides of the field. It's great in Trick Room, it's great without Trick Room. It's got Quirk Drive and the Safety Goggles, Rockin' Thunder Punch, Drain Punch for Stab and HP Recovery, Sword Stance for that plus two attack boost, and Fake Out for Flinches. Fluttermane is going to be our third Pokemon. Fluttermane is pretty standard here. It's Protosynthesis, Booster Energy, Protect, Dazzle Gleam, Moon Blast, Shadow Ball. You guys have seen it plenty of times before, but it is so strong on the rank ladder. I love having it on my team. We got Palafin in our fourth slot. One of my favorite Gen 9 Pokemon. Just look at this little adorable Dolphin. Plus, it's super strong once you swap him out and get him into the hero form. This one has Mystic Water, Haze, which I absolutely love to run on a team. Really helps out tremendously in certain situations. Then we got Jet Punch, Wave Crash, and Protect, which I think is the best moveset for a Palafin. We got Torkoal in our fifth slot, one of the strongest Trick Room Pokemon. So can't really have a strong Trick Room team without Torkoal. Torkoal can control weather, it can hit like a truck, and plus in Trick Room, it goes first pretty much every single time. It has Drought, the Charcoal as its item, Rocking Eruption, Heat Wave, Earth Power, and Protect. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Shen Pao, our only Legends of Ruin Pokemon. And Shen Pao, really, really fast, hits hard, helps out our physical attackers. You really can't go wrong with it. It's got Swords of Ruin, the Focus Dash, Sucker Punch, Ice Spinner, Throat Chop, and Protect. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Frigoraph Trick Room and Shen Pao Palafin team. First match coming at you guys, and we are going up against a Ting Lu Annihilate Mousehold team. I think I've seen this team plenty of times on the rank ladder. Definitely very, very strong. But they also have the Palafin, they have the Arcanine, and they are also ripping up with Amoongus. So I could actually leave Palafin turn one. I don't think Palafin's going to be bad. We can definitely swap it out and kind of get one. But I kind of really like Frigoraph Tricker here, right? It does sound really, really good. The only thing that I could get really annoyed with is going to be Amoongus, because everybody knows Amoongus in Trick Room is very, very strong. But I kind of like the Farigaraf, and potentially maybe Torkoal, maybe pop in like a Protect or something. Kind of getting after it that way. But if Annihilate does get a lead, that could be a little bit of a problem. Let me see this thing start. It is Fairy, so I was going to say, Annihilate does pose a threat on the Frigoraph with fighting moves, but we do have the Fairy Tarot, which I, I like it. I like it, so I'm going to go for Frigoraph. I'm going to try to pop Trick Room, and I'm going to also lead. Do I lead a Fake Out Mon? Fake Out's not bad. We don't mind Fake Out. I'm going to lead Iron Hands, yeah, because I could potentially Swords Dance in that position, too. So I'm going to go Iron Hands. I'm going to go Frigoraph, and then I'm going to bring Torkoal. And last but not least, I just think having, like, Shen Pao as, like, a back-end Pokemon could be really, really good for us, so... We're going to go in with three Trick Room Pokemon and then one Fast Pokemon for potentially when Trick Room ends. And if not, we have first time priority with like Sucker Punch, all that good stuff. I really do like that. Plus, if I can get Shen Pao and Iron Hands out there, Iron Hands can get a really big boost of uh, physical attack damage. I kind of like this. I kind of like it. I love Trick Room Teams. Trick Room Teams has always been like my bread and butter. I always seem to play a lot better when I use a Trick Room Team. But I feel like when Scarlet and Violet is here, like Trick Room Teams, you just don't see too many of them. In Sword and Shield, Trick Room was huge. I think Trick Room was a lot bigger than what it is in Scarlet and Violet, but Scarlet and Violet is more like fast paced, I feel like. Right? But we'll see what they want to do here. I'm definitely popping the Trick Room. Like, this 100% I'm popping Trick Room. Do I have Sword Dance here? I kind of want to. I'm kind of feeling the Sword Dance because I feel like Mousehold might even Thrasalize or something. And I'm just going to go for Sword Dance. We're going to hope that Arcanine's not going for a burn here. Like, a Will O Wisp could be a problem, right? Could definitely be a problem. But Follow Me comes out here. I think he is going to try to burn me here. But I don't mind the sword sand set up here. And there's the there's the burn. Oh, yeah. I saw that coming. Maybe I should have terrestrialized in a fire thinking of that. But I guess that's fine. I guess it's alright. I'll deal with it. Now minus one, I am burned. I am gonna go for a sword dance. Now I'm plus one, which I don't I don't really mind. I'm still hitting decently hard. 
Now my attack is boosted up. Trick Room is out and about, which I really like. And now I'm thinking of just strain punching into the mouse hold. Doing as much damage as I possibly can. I think I'm cool with that. I mean, burn's a little bit of a problem, but that's fine. So from here, I could go Hyper Voice. I could go Psy Shock. Psy Shock obviously going to do more damage, but Hyper Voice... Actually, no. Hyper Voice is solid here. Yeah, I'm going to rip with the Hyper Voice. And I'm going to go for a Drain Punch. We're going to hope that Mouse Hold is not Terrasalizing or swapping into Annihilate. Because Annihilate is definitely here. Hmm. I could see a swap of Arcanine into Annihilate. Which would be a little bit of a problem, because then he just dodges it, right? Psy Shock could have been really, really good for us. But Trick Room is out and about. We're plus one on attack. We are burned, though, which is kind of annoying. And they opt to go for a Baby Doll Oz, which you cannot do. We got Armor Tail. It blocks out. Love Armor Tail. That's why I think Armor Tail is so good. So Hyper Voice chunks up. Drain Punch is going to fly through it. And I almost pick up the KO. I, kinda, I actually don't mind that. I think now I go for another Swords Dance this turn. I think Swords Dance is free here. I think we set it up again. End up going for a Snarl. I'm cool with that. I'm going to go for a Swords Dance here. I'm going to go for another... Uh, Another Hyper Voice. And I'm going to finish off this Mouse Hold and then get another Sword Dance boost. I like that. And then I might just swap Frigraph because Frigraph could come in clutch later. So Hyper Voice here. Sword Dance popping. Let's do it. Let's try to boost our attack a bit more. Considering we're burned, I'd rather go plus three on the stack board. So we'll see what they want to do. Might even swap the Arcanine. I wouldn't be surprised to see a swap of the Arcanine, right? I would not be surprised. There's no way Mouse Hold terrestrializes. He ends up just withdrawing the Mouse Hold. Okay, and going into Annihilate, potentially? I feel like Annihilate would be the Pokemon. Yep, it is Annihilate. So, solid swap from him. Hyper Voice can come through here. Chunk up a little bit of damage on the Arcanine. And probably another Snarl comes out here, right? And we Sword Dance on top of that. I really do like this Sword Dance. The Sword Dance comes out and about. And a Flare Blitz is also going to fly here. That's fine. That is fine. That is totally fine. So I could Drain Punch for some HP here, or I can go for a Wild Charge into... Or a Thunder Punch into Annihilate, which I, I might double down to Annihilate here. Kind of feeling it, right? So that's Rasalize and just double down into Annihilate with this. I like it. Thunder Punch, Side Shock. I don't really see it protecting. I see it's Rasalize maybe. We'll see. And it does not. Cool. So Side Shock. We're minus one, but still how much damage are we doing? Not bad damage. I like that. And the Thunder Punch. You're plus three. How much damage are you doing? Almost KO. And that could have been could have been a nice KO. And he opts to go for the Bulk Up. Bulk Up out and about. We should have like one more turn left in Trick Room. And I still have Torkoal. <laughs> I still have Torkoal, man. The Flare Blitz is going to fly here. Recoil damage out here. And yeah, I think we just side Shock and we go for a Drain Punch now. How many turns is left in this Trick Room is the real question. That is the real question. We're just playing this one real slow. They can't e speed me, which is beautiful. We have one turn left in Trick Room, and Psy Shock and KO you. I do think you potentially protect, and I'm just going to Drain Punch on top of that. Yep, there's an Annihilate Protect. Are you going to protect Arcanine here as well? There's a possibility. Yeah, and you do. And so what I think is going to happen here is he's going to try to rip into me with like a Drain Punch. I'm going to Terrasalize in the Fairy just so I can set up another Trick Room. I think setting up a tr the Trick Room is going to be 100% like... Guaranteeing us pretty much the win here, right? I would love that. I could actually go into I could hard swap uh, Iron Hands, but I really don't want to. I don't think that's that's my play. I really don't think that's my play. I think we terrasalize when we get off Trick Room and we'd let uh, we let Frigograph die out. Well, not Frigograph, Iron Hands die out. So yeah, because we know the Drain Punch coming in here. So terrasalizing in the Fairy is going to be a play. We're gonna look to pop a Trick Room and then if I can get off a Drain Punch, I would love to KO the Arcanine. That'd be big time. That'd be big time. So yeah, now I'm going to use my terrestrialization. I'm switching into fairy typing. I'm trying to get one last trick room out, up out here. And it will pretty much last the rest of the match, right? But I feel like once we get off trick room, or if we do get off trick room, we should be able to just legit finish this battle up with Torkoal. But Annihilate's going to end up terrestrializing into what typing? A straight water typing. Okay. A straight water typing there. That's a little odd to swap typings. That is a little odd, right? Especially the water. I mean, I... Yeah, no, it doesn't really make sense. I guess so, the... The, the, the psychic move isn't super effective to you? I think that's its play. But yeah, I'm terrestrializing to get off this free trick room. So it's gotta be Drain Punch, right? Flare Blitz into Iron Hands, takes him out. He'll take a little bit of recoil. And then you gotta be going for a Drain Punch. I don't really see any move KOing us here with this typing. 
I really don't see it happening. So citrus berry, where's that a figgy? I think it's a figgy. Figgy berry is gonna pop here. It is a figgy, a figster. And the drain punch comes out here. So perfect terror type from us. So it takes that move from super effective to not very effective. And now again, we get off this free trick room. I bring out Torkoal and that's game set match. That is game set match. Cause Torkoal is gonna be able to KO both with the new eruption. Even though it's gonna be not very effective. Torkoal's hitting hard. He's hitting hard in that sunlight. Plus, I'm going to double down into Annihilate because I know for a fact it will take out the Arcanine. So, pretty perfect match from us here, right? We saved our Terra for the perfect opportunity. Gave it to Frigograph after the first Trick Room ended. Set up another Trick Room. Now, we bring out the dreaded little Turtle. The Turtle comes out here. And now, I will Psy Shock and actually... Huh, do I still erupt? Do we think Eruption is going to KO the Arcanine? If it doesn't, it's not that big of a deal. Arcanine's not doing anything crazy, right? The Arcanine actually got a ton of HP back from that Figgy Berry. <laughs> God dang. A little bit too much. Eruption pops here. Can I KO the Arcanine? Oh, come on with that. No free focus, Sash. That's ridiculous. The free Sash doing me dirty? That's not cool. And what are you going for, Arcanine? You're going for a Snarl. Who dodged that? Torkoal dodged it. The perfect Pokemon to dodge it. And yeah, now it's now this game's wraps. Now it's definitely wraps. Now it is definitely wraps. Did I KO one of their Pokemon yet? I feel like they still have four. They do still have four. But M Mouse Hold is really low on HP. So, Eruption's gonna come out here. We should be thriving here. Again, after I set up this Trick Room, uh, we pretty much, pretty much wrapped this one up. We still have our Shen Pao in the back end, but I totally forgot they have four. Four's, four's a lot. Four's a lot. We only lost one Pokemon so far, and it was just last turn. So, he ends up with Jaw and Arcanine. Who are you gonna go into here? You gonna sacrifice your mouse hold or you gonna show your fourth and final? You're gonna sacrifice your mouse hold here. Eruption comes out here. I guess he wants to intimidate again. But wow, that thing actually soaked that. Like it was nothing. I don't think Psy Shock can KO. That's a little scary here. I don't think he KO. Wow. What are you going for? You're gonna KO my Torkoal. This actually just made this match a problem. You soaked that like that? I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. Okay. So now we have a match here. Now we have a match. We're going to need Shen Pao to really clutch us up. Sucker Punches can come in hot here. Um, I think they go into the fourth and final here. Huh. Yeah, Moongus comes out here. I mean, I can Ice Spinner that down. And I have Focus Sash, which is big time. Focus Sash is big time. Or, you know what? I can just do this. Psy Shock into you for as much damage as I can. I could protect you as well. Because Annihilate could potentially protect, thinking I'm going for a Sucker Punch. And that's good. I'm going to double down on Moongus here. I think Annihilate might even protect. I have Focus Sash if not, right? I just think this is a solid turn from us. I have the lovely little Focus Sash if you don't protect. Help me out tremendously. You should go for the Palm Puff, so you're going to heal up you. That's a little bit of a problem, because if you go into a Drain Punch now, this thing's a problem. I'm side shocking you. I'm going to KO the Moogus, so, though, with this uh, Ice Spinner. The drain Punch does come out here. It's tough. That's tough. This is tough. We should have Sucker Punched it. We should have Sucker Punched it. This is tough, because now this back at full HP. I don't like this. Ice Spinner comes out here. Should KO you. Wow, dude, Annihilate is such a problem. This is such a good match, though. I really thought we had this one on lock. I really did. Okay. So now, from here... I don't think we have this one. I don't even think we're going to come close to this one. Hmm. How many turns are left in Trick Room? We do have one. So Hyper Voice, and I guess I'll protect you. He's plus one on defense, so I think he might double protect here. One protect comes out from Mark Knight. I guess he's not protecting Annihilate. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> kind of sucks that we're uh that we are minus one or minus two on special attack. Kind of hurts me. Can I get crit here or something? No shot. Yep. And then oh, you end up rage fisting in that. And yeah, that's gonna be game. This rage fist is boosted. Night night. Night night match number one long and drawn out long and drawn out is an understatement. That was a long match That was a long match, but we're gonna end up losing this one 
I really didn't think I had that unlocked, but that Annihilate was able to soak the Psy Shock and that, what's it called? And the, uh, I, the uh, Eruption like crazy. Like, that's wild, but even if we take out the Arcanine or something here, that Annihilate, we're not stopping it. We're just going to run this match. We are 0-1. Solid first match on both ends of the field. We're going to hop through a second battle, look for our first win. I still can't believe how bulky Annihilate is. It really soaked that up and won him the game. That is wild, but hey, we take that one on the chin. We're hopping into our second match. Let's grab ourselves our first victory going up against a King Gambit team. Actually, more so a Chiyu Fluttermane team, right? With Gyarados, King Gambit, Iron Hands for Fake Out, and last but not least, they are rocking with, uh, what is that book one? Can't even think of it. Baxcalibur. They are rocking out with Baxcalibur. I feel like from here, Frigraf has got to be a lead. We have to try to pop a Trick Room, right? Trick Room can be really, really good for us. Um, I am kind of scared of the Chiyu, right? Chiyu and Flutter mainly could be a problem. I could go into Fake Out Iron Hands, but if that Chiyu is... If that Chiyu is ghost typing, then ugh, it, it kind of hurts, right? It kind of hurts. Because then they're just going to get off some free damage. But I still kind of like this. I still kind of like too. I could go Palafin, just hard swap. But I think Iron Hands going to be my play. Going into Iron Hands and then go Torkoal. I like the same squad, to be honest. But maybe instead of Shen Pao, we could just go Fluttermane. But if they're going to bring Chiyu, Fluttermane can get some work done. Fluttermane's really good here, but again, King Gambit could be a problem. But we have Torkoal and we have Iron Hands to kind of deal with that. I kind of like Fluttermane, so we're going to bring in everybody except for Shen Pao and Palafin. Which is weird. Weird to say, right? Because I use Palafin and Shen Pao hundreds of times in videos, and they are just so good. They are just so good. But when, when we're using Trick Room, I just feel like this is this is a squad to go into, right? Go into the three and then pick, pick the next best one, right? So we'll see who they want to lead. It is going to be cool. Not Fluttermane Chiyu. I can really get down with that. I can really get down with that. I mean, hmm. Dark is a little scary, so I might Terrasilize. Or I could just fake out the Chiyu. I think faking out the Chiyu is going to be my play. Yeah, I'm going to fake out the Chiyu. Chiyu, you are getting faked out. I'm not dealing with you. Hopefully, he doesn't Terrasilize into Ghost. That would be our only issue, right? <laughs> it would be a big time issue. So I'm just going to fake out the Chiyu. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That's the best part about Armor Tail is you're... You are allowed to use first turn priority moves, but your opponent's not allowed to, which is awesome. It is so good. It is so good. So he can't ice shot me with Baxcalibur right now, but he is going to trash slides. If this is Ghost, I'm going to be so upset. Okay, it's Baxcalibur. You can be Ghost. I don't care about you. And you're going to go straight water. Okay, he dodged the uh, fighting move if I was going to go into it, but that's fine. I mean, I'm getting off this trick room, and then I can just thunder punch you. The fake out coming out here. You're flinching. Dope. Awesome. Icicle Spear coming in hot here, and we should be able to soak. Nice little soak here. And you know, I'm going to end up drain punching the Chi. I'd rather get rid of that Chi. I think it's just a problem. I think it's just a problem. So I get off my Trick Room. Cool. I'm going to drain punch the Chi, get back HP, because I know you can't Thrasilize. And do I just rip with a Hyper Voice? Probably more so like a Psy Shock in this slot. I mean, I'm not worried about Baxcalibur. Uh, I'll chip up some damage into that. I'm just going to Drain Punch the Chiyu. Try to get rid of it and get some HP back. But a Flutter Main swap would be would be good from our opponent. That would be amazing from our opponent. Maybe he thinks we're just going for a Thunder Punch into Baxcalibur. So Side Shot comes out here. Cool. We're going to get rid of Chiyu. We're going to deal some damage to you. And we're going to get some HP back. That's a solid turn for us. So see you later, Chiyu. You gone. Iron Hands for Graph is just such a good lead. It really is. So you get back 44 HP, which I love. Are you going to go for another Icicle Spear? I'm kind of curious to see what you do. Because I'm going to Thunder Punch you probably next turn. Just take you out. So Icicle Spear, let's fly. Cool. That's fine. Dude, Baxcalibur is so good. I really like that Pokemon. He's just chunking up damage onto me. Look how much damage he does. And he gets a crit. And you're getting a crit. Hit me four times. And let's see who he throws out here. Options, options, options. We still have the Torkoal. We still have the Flutter Main of our own, which I like. Um, we still have Terra too, which is awesome. And let's see who our opponent ends up going into. It's going to be Gambit. It's going to be Gambit, who I think might actually protect here. I really do think Gambit's going to protect. I'm going to bring out Torkoal. I'm going to swap in Torkoal. I'm just going to Thunder Punch this back to Calibur down. There's no way this Gambit stays in here, right? 
He knows he dies to a Drain Punch. You know you die to a Drain Punch. There's just no way. I'm taking out back Calibur. You have to protect here. You have to protect here. There's just no way you go into Gambit thinking that this is a good play to stay in here and attack. You have to protect that Gambit. There's like... You do not protect the Gambo? I don't mind the swap though. That's fine. Because now I just have Torque on the Sun. That's wild. That is just absurd. That is just absurd that you do not protect the Gambo. Right? Because I could have just Drain Punch KO. No problem. But I guess I thought too far into it. Because you don't have Terra. But out comes the final Pokemon. How many turns is left in Trick Room? Fluttermate is going to come out here. Flutter, Flutter. And do we have two turns? I'm kind of hoping we do, right? I think we should. We do. That is just a beautiful sight to see. So from here, I'm going to pop a Heat Wave. And I'm going to pop a Drain Punch. I'm going to look to grab some HP back. Actually, no. We're, I guess we'll just Thunder Punch into this slot. Because Heat Wave will KO the, the Gambit, no problem. He ends up protecting the Flutter, I mean. Heat Wave, can you please land? You go for a Sucker Punch, which we so Heat Wave, can you land, please and thank you? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Thank you. <laughs> See you later, Gambit. Yeah, dude, Trick Room, we're just overpowering here. We still got one more turn. I'm going to go choice into a... Or I'm not even choice. I can go into an Earth Power now if I want to. And I'm going to Thunder Punch this thing down. So solid, solid match for us. This is going to be a sweep, right? We still got our four. We still got our four. Uh, you know, I'm going to stick with Heat Wave. So I'm looking, to, I'm looking to win this one. But I think our opponent just cancels the battle. And we get the clean sweep. Yeah, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. One and one. Let's go hop to our third and grab ourselves that winning record. Final match coming at you guys, and let's do this. Let's grab ourselves a winning record. We haven't used Palafin yet, so that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm going to lead Palafin. Palafin's going to be great to haze the Don Thozo and just be super strong in general. I might lead it with Shen Pal. Probably not, right? Let's go Palafin. I could go Fake Out Iron Hands, maybe just set up a Sword Dance, or I could go Trick Room for a Graph. Options, options, options. What, do, what would I rather do here? I mean, if Fluttermane Chiyu come out here, that could be... That could be an issue. That could be an issue. Dark moves, we can just rip into Frigograph. Um, hmm. What do I want to do here? I could go Fluttermane of my own. I actually like that. I actually really like that with Booster Energy. Go Palafin, Fluttermane will bring you. And then I think just having Iron Hands in the back end is really, really solid. One, it can out bulk Pokemon and get off some shots. Two, it can fake out, get some big time flinches. Plus, it's super effective onto a few of these guys, so I like it. Especially the Don Dozo. Especially the Don Dozo. We'll see who they want to end up leading here. I feel like Fluttermane Chi Yu is just, it's just a solid lead. And a good thing we do have Palfin with Boost Energy. Boost is its speed. It can really get after it. I can always Thrasilize if need be, but I'm cool with this. I do like this. Plus, Palfin can just uh, go into Jet Punches, which is really good. Even like in its regular little cute Dolphin form. Jet Punch can still do a nice chunk of damage, especially when it's super effective onto a Pokemon. Like Chi Yu, because Chi Yu is not that bulky. Chiyu, we can just legit jet punch, bring it down low HP, flutter, make it out speed, and we'll take it out. But a lot of Chiyus have been choice scarfed as recently. They've just been out speeding and getting after it. So I wouldn't be surprised to see if a choice scarf is on this little fish. We shall see. But I'm so upset we lost that first battle, man. Second match, we played awesome. But first match, if we would have won that, would have been guaranteed winning record. But you know, Typhlosion on the player card. Love that Pokemon. Sick. Typhlosion is so cool. I can't wait to, that, till they allow them in the rank uh, battles. But they go Tatsugiri and Glamora. Okay, I mean... What do I do here? I gotta swap. I think it's just a free swap with Palafin here. Definitely swap Palafin. And I think we go into a Pokemon more so like... Iron Hands here? Yeah, like Iron Hands. I get that one, Iron Hands. And then from here, I could Gleam. I mean, he's gotta swap. I, but if he swaps, it's just a free turn for us. So I'm still gonna Gleam here. I just see what he's going to do. I could actually Terrasilize, but Fairy's not going to do much. Maybe Glamour stays in here. He might protect and drop me with a Sludge Bomb. Could definitely be the play. It could it could be the play. That would be, be a tough play. So Palafin's going to get the swap. Little Dolphin's dipping back. And Iron Hand's coming out here. Lovely little Iron Hands. My only problem with that Glamour is the what's it called oh is that a storm drain tatsugiri storm drain tatsugiri has been a thing and you are terrestrializing this is this is this is cool this is cool to see i've been seeing storm drain tatsugiri's come out here we have to watch out for the water moves spiky shield's gonna come out here that's fine that is totally fine 
And I wonder what Tatsu's going for. We do outspeed that thing, which is huge. I don't want to fake out the Grimora. I might just Swords Dance next turn. Terror Blast. Ooh, wow. I'm I might die to that. Can I soak that, please, and thank you? That'll be a really good play. I'm dead, aren't I? Wow, that was an awesome play. Wow, that was actually really cool. That was sick. Little... Oh, dude, that's so cool. That's so cool. Uh, did I bring out Pally here? Because I could Jet Punch kill Glamora. Um, I am... I don't really like the, uh... The what's it called, now. I don't really like... I don't really like the Glamora because I'm going to set the Toxic Spikes, but I guess I'll do it anyway. Or do I just Sword Dance here? Well, I could Sword Dance. Actually, that's what I want to do. I'm going to Sword Dance here, and on top of that, I am just going to drip Jet Punch. And I don't even th think Jet Punch can KO, so I might just Wave Crash you. Jet Punch might not KO, so I'm going to go into the Wave Crash. I'm going to take out Glamora. He might even swap into what's it going at this point. Actually, oh my god, are you Storm Drain Tatsu? Ah! This, please don't be Storm Drain Tatsu. This could be bad. This could be real bad. I'm pretty. He learned Storm Drain, right? I think he just got it. He's gonna end up toxicing me. How dare you? That ain't cool. That ain't right. I guess we're gonna find out right now if it's Storm Drain. So you end up badly poisoning me. You are. Are you kidding me? This Tatsu's gonna rip through my team. This Tatsu's nasty. I mean, I can bring out my Sucker Punch Boy after this. Oh my lord. Chill on me, man. Chill on me. Me no likey. Me no likey. We do get off Sword Dance, which is just beautiful. And I feel like this team could potentially win this match. So, it's Storm Drain. It's not Commander. Dondos is probably not here. And that throws off a lot of people. Storm Drain Tatsu is where it's at. I gotta showcase that soon. But I bring out my Shenpowski. And does Shenpow outspeed that Tatsu? That's the real question. I think you should. Or do I just drop it with a Sucker Punch? Yeah, Sucker Punch probably my play. Yeah, we'll go for a Sucker Punch. Because I'm just going to go into a Drain Punch plus 2 here. And what will do more damage? They do the same amount of damage. So I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to go for the Sucker Punch here. I do have a Focus Ash if need be. So Sucker Punch comes out here. That's going to KO you. And Drain Punch KO this thing. Which would be huge. And then we can turn this into a 2v2. If we pick up a KO here. 2v2. I think we should be able to. Drain Punch, Stab, or plus two. We got Shen Pao out in the field as well. You outspeed me. You're going to get off a big time Toxic. Ugh. Hey. It's, ugh. That's gross. That's real nasty. Drain Punch flying through here. Does a KO. You Sash? Please don't be Sash. I don't like that. You are Sash. Glamora Sash? That's weird. Tad bit weird. The Toxic Spikes out on the field, but they're not going to do anything. Wow, dude. Storm Drain Tatsu did me so so dirty so dirty just took out my palfin with no shots that is huge that is a huge play i love it i love it i definitely gotta get my hands on the storm drain tattoo team speaking of teams if you guys have any teams for me leave me my twitter dms link down in the description below go click on my twitter dm me over there send it all that good stuff but it ends up going into you i mean thunder punch is definitely the play and i think he's just gonna spiky show up to be honest I think he definitely spiky shields here. I'm just going to double down into uh, Dondozo. I do think spiky shield comes out here. Did I terrestrialize on accident? I guess I terrestrialized on accident. Okay, I mean, I'll, I guess I'll, I'll deal with that. I didn't even mean to terrestrialize there. That's fine. There's the spiky shield. We are doubling down on this thing. But I don't, I don't mind the uh, terror there, to be honest. It's not bad. I can see EQs coming out here. And is it EQ? We actually outspeed you. This should KO. Cool. All right. Hold up. Wait a minute. We're still in this. We're still in this. I didn't even mean the terror, but I'll take it. I guess I guess it's fine. I was kind of saving my terror because maybe a fire terror could have came up clutch with, uh, with my boy right here. With my iron hands. So what I'm thinking here is I still have my focus ash. I could sucker punch Glamour here because it's probably going for an attacking move. And I can drain punch that Chiyu. Right? Drain punch the Chiyu. And go after Glamour with the sucker punch. I mean we outspeed it unless it's uh 
Now we're gonna go for a throw chop here. The reason I want to do that is because we are sashed and we will outspeed. So I'd rather go for the throw chop. If it if that thing is scarfed, it would just trigger my focus sash. It won't hit me with a dark move, but we should be fine here. We should really be fine. I, I think we might win this battle. Even though we went down early to that tatsu. That storm drain tatsu. Oh. Oh, that thing was a problem. He ends up protecting you. That's totally fine. So Glamour is gonna go out here and yeah, we do we lock this match down? This one's gonna be real close. But he still have focus ash, which is really, really good. Uh dark move's a little bit of a problem, but the thing here is Is that thing gonna KO my uh my iron hands in one shot? And this is why I wish I had like a fire terror. This is why I wish I didn't hit the terror button. I think I hit it on my leg because I put my controller down and it just hits my leg. So Toxic can chuck up some damage here. We gotta be able to soak up a a drain punch here. Or not drain punch. A uh We gotta be able to soak up the what's it called? The heat wave that's probably coming in here. So we throw a chop here. Doing a little bit of damage, not very effective. Can we soak this up? Oh, you straight up flamethrower, right? That might KO us. We soak it up and we win this match. Beautiful. My boy Iron Hand soaking it up. Because we probably would have lost that match if Iron Hands didn't soak that up, but my man Pots and Pan soaks it up, hits it with a Drain Punch, and can't believe we won that match considering Tatsu was just ripping into us early. But my two back-end Pokemon, Shen Pao and Sword Stance Iron Hands, clean up the mess. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Huge winning record for us with this Trick Room team. I absolutely love it. You have the Frigograph Iron Hands coming in there, easily setting up Trick Room. Then you can bring in Torkoal on the back end. Then you got the other three Pokemon that work so well outside the Trick Room. The Fluttermane, Palafin, and Shin Pal. You really get the best of both worlds with this team. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.